No power could maintain itself if its advocates were nothing but hypocrites. However many worldly elements it may possess, the strength of the Catholic Church rests on those priestly natures, still very numerous, whose lives are hard and full of meaning, and whose glance and wasted body speak of night watches, fasting, fervent prayer, perhaps even of flagellation. These men deeply affect other men and inspire them with fear. What if it were needful to live thus? That is the dreadful question the sight of them lays on the tongue. By propagating this doubt, they continually establish further pillars of their power. Even the free thinkers do not dare to confront the man selfless in this way, with a harsh sense of truth, and say to him, Deceived yourself! Cease to deceive! It is only difference in insight that divides them from him, certainly no difference as regards goodness or badness. But what one does not like, one usually also treats unjustly. Thus, one speaks of the cunning and infamous arts of the Jesuits, but overlooks what self-overcoming every individual Jesuit imposes upon himself, and that the alleviated practice of life preached by the Jesuit textbooks is intended for the benefit of the laity, not for their own. One may ask, indeed, whether given quite the same tactics and organization, we children of the Enlightenment would be equally good instruments, or equally admirable, in self-conquest, indefatigability, or devotedness.